Hi, my name is Susan Roderick with Filmic Pro. And up until this point, we've done a few tutorials for beginners on how to shoot. So this is a, more about what to shoot. So I don't have any formal film school training, but I know when I first started shooting, I had really no clue where to begin. So I'm just gonna give you some basics of like how to get started. So think about the establishing shot and that would be setting the scene. So it's just the general view. You always kind of want to have an establishing shot. So maybe your subject might be very small and the scene might be very large. It's kind of like a very a wide angle shot. But always get an establishing shot. I always forget that one. All right, also think about wide, medium, and close up. And I would just challenge you to shoot three shots of every single thing, every single thing that you shoot shoot a wide, a medium, and a close-up. You really can't lose with this. You can't have too much footage if you shoot these three shots. So wide would be more like the establishing shot. It's kind of like a wide scene with a subject being very small or fairly small. And then the medium shot would be, if it was a person, say it would be from the waist up, kind of like this shot, um, equal parts subject and equal parts scene. And you could see someone moving with their hands, which is what I do a lot. Um, you can also then shoot a close-up. And if it was a person, it might be chin to forehead. Or you could do extreme close-ups, which would mean just the lips talking or just the eyes moving. Um, or if it's details at a party, obviously it would just be a close-up of the details. But take three shots of everything you shoot. All right, let's talk about the angle of the shot. So angle of the shot is the direction and the height. So let's say it's a person walking across a crosswalk. So the height, you might get down on the actual ground and shoot just their feet walking across the crosswalk. Or the direction might be from the side or it might be from the front, front, them coming towards you or them walking away from you. Or the direction could also be you're shooting straight down on the feet going across the crosswalk. So just cr get creative. Think of a few different um, directions or angles or heights that you can do for every single shot. And that just kind of like, it just makes you reach a little bit and gets yourself out of your, out of your comfort zone. But it's a cool way to tell a story. All right, so next, let's talk about movement. So if you watch your favorite TV show or movie, you'll notice that there's basically no static shot or dead shot. Either the subject's moving or the camera's moving at all times. And a few ways to uh, basically create movement. One would be to pan. So that's say the person's walking across the street and you're, you're kind of standing in one place, but you're panning your camera like this. Um, so that's, that's one way. Tilt is another, which is kind of this direction. You're either down or you're moving up. Um, you can also zoom. And zoom is usually when you're standing in one place and it's usually a lens function where it kind of the, the shot moves in or out. And also another cool way to create movement is basically, it's called dollying. And that means that, let's say the person's walking across the street and you'd be on a dolly or maybe you'd be on a skateboard or you'd be in a car and you'd be moving slowly with the person walking. Or if they'd be running, you could be moving quickly. So those are just some quick uh, tips on how to create movement. And this, these are all really fun ways. So just get out there and challenge yourself and watch your favorite show and see how all of these kind of shots are represented in the show. So my name's Susan Roderick with Filmic Pro and we'll be back with more tutorials shortly. Thanks for watching.